The State of Crypto is presented by Tron, connecting the world to the power of cryptocurrency. Time to check in with Coindesk Global Policy Regulation Managing Editor, Nick Day, who's also the editor of Coindesk's The State of Crypto newsletter. Good morning, Nick. So it seems that the CFTC has been given a vote of confidence when it comes to regulating cryptocurrencies from the Senate. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, good morning. So the Senate Agriculture Committee is set to introduce a bill today that would give the CFTC quote, exclusive jurisdiction over digital commodities. So cryptocurrencies that include Bitcoin and Ether does not include digital securities. So uh, we don't have a clear definition necessarily just yet of what exactly that all, you know, what that universe encompasses. But it would make the CFTC basically a primary spot regulator for any digital commodity brokers. So any crypto exchanges that trade exclusively or primarily these digital commodities could have to deal with the CFTC rather than the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, which uh, you know many companies in the sector are a little wary of because they primarily you know go after exchanges with regulate or enforcement actions rather than you know any kind of rulemaking that says hey here's what we want you to do. So so I mean look at looking at it from the perspective of the SEC I mean are they happy about this or are they relieved in other words yeah. that like okay well this is how I'm gonna go to the CFTC we don't have to worry about it anymore or is it a slap or to the face just, of the CFTC? Yeah. Are they like, hey, that this is exactly what we wanted? Like, we wanted. Well, to Well, SEC Chair it, Gary Gensler, I think, has been pretty clear, right? I mean, he said repeatedly that he wants crypto exchanges that list securities to register as national securities exchanges, and you know, part of that would be, you know, addressing certain consumer protection issues, making sure that you know there's no, uh, you know, wanton listing of things that might harm investors. So. I think on the one hand, if you have to register as a digital commodity broker, you still have the same kind of consumer protection rules that you might have under the, CFTC, or under the SEC. On the other hand, you know the big question that we have, what is this digital security, what is a digital commodity, that is not necessarily answered. And the SEC, I think, has been pretty clear in saying, well, things basically everything is a security, but there's still no formal definition yet that companies can point to and say, okay, here's what we're going by. So, Nick, just two quick questions. Um, one, you know, as you know more than anyone else, this is an incredibly confusing area, especially for people who don't follow crypto. So could you just explain, like, how does this actually differ from the status quo? Like, what is the big change here? Because I think a lot of people don't really understand, like, what the CFTC does and what the SEC does. And, and also, uh, my, my second question is, why agriculture? Like, why are they the ones doing this? So let me take that second one first. So the CFTC was traditionally a uh, agriculture commodities regulator. So, you know, things like corn and once upon a time they could have uh, overseen onions, but, you know, sadly not anymore. So the Senate and House Agriculture Committees oversee the CFTC because of that traditional role that it's had. So even though it oversees derivatives and, you know, seen as a financial markets regulator, a lot of those financial markets uh, stem from, you know, the role of uh, farming, for example. So... That's kind of where that you know whole jurisdiction area comes from. And the Senate and House Agriculture Committees have both kind of expressed interest in having the CFTC take a greater role in overseeing crypto markets and crypto spot and derivatives markets specifically. Now, the current status quo is all crypto exchanges in the US are regulated at the state level, not necessarily the federal level. So if they have to, if they want to, you know, list current, uh, list certain cryptocurrencies or they want to operate in certain states, they have to go to the state regulator. At the federal level, the SEC oversees securities. So anything that, you know, fulfills, for example, the Howey test, which is uh, probably not something we have time to get into right now, but, you know, <laughs> it either fulfills the Howey test or meets some other definition of securities under federal law. And... The SEC has brought a number of enforcement actions over the last several years that say, okay, we think these cryptocurrencies are securities. So, for example, it brought an enforcement action against Telegram when it sold uh, the Gram ICO. Or they brought an action against Kik when it tried raising money for the Kin ICO program. And these enforcement actions have led, you know, they've shed some clarity onto what a digital security might look like in the U.S. But... A lot of crypto developers and entrepreneurs hope that there will be a kind of more formal, you know, rulemaking process that could explain more clearly what their, you know, what is and isn't security, in the hopes that they can launch a project that will not be seen as a security. The CFTC 
at this point, primarily just overseas derivatives products, so Bitcoin futures, for example. But there is a growing movement to have the CFTC oversee crypto spot markets at the federal level because, A, it could mean that crypto exchanges no longer have to go to each and every state they want to operate in. They could just have one federal license, and so they wouldn't have to worry about, you know, for example, repeating the exact same uh, compliance process with 50, 49 different states, uh, which is you know both time-consuming and expensive. They also hope that by you know, creating a digital commodity definition, it'll be easier for them to launch and list certain cryptocurrencies without having to worry about whether or not they're violating federal securities law.